Hey fire signs, Aries Sag Leo, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for being here. It really does mean a lot. Um, I'm going to be channeling the energy of all you lovely fire signs, all you fiery fire signs, and see what's coming up for you. And this tarot reading is going to be intended to see what's going to happen before the end of the week is up. So we'll see if I can predict what's going to be going down here for you mostly centered around love so stay tuned don't forget to drop a like share subscribe um, otherwise let's jump into this reading and see what's going on here fire signs what's going to happen before the week is up okay judgment card you've got some big news coming your way someone's about to share something huge with you I still feel like karma is putting you into alignment, into a certain situation. Okay, judging a situation. You're going to make up your mind about a person, about a connection. And you're also going to be judgmental about something that they've done or something you've done. I see some big judgment that's being passed. To be concerning a Taurus, we've got the Hierophant, Five of Pentacles. Oh, someone's not going to be happy. And the High Priestess here. Fire signs, if I'm honest, I feel like you're about to dump someone. What's going on here? Someone's not ticking the boxes. You're not feeling a connection here. You're ready to jump. You're ready to leave. You're ready to abort the mission. High Priestess here, you've been thinking about this for a while. Your intuition is telling you to do something. You've been ignoring it. But that angel is coming up here. Okay, we've got the Nine of Wands reversed though. So it's not an impulsive decision. The world is upright. You want to keep your options open right now. The world is telling you to act, but the world is also closure. Okay, Six of Cups is reversed. A lot of you are moving away from the past. Okay, I feel like an ex is going to get back in touch. So if you've been waiting on an ex to contact you, I feel like an ex is coming back into the picture before the week is up. This is through social media. There's a message here. You might bump into this person. They might call your friends and family and see what's up with you. You're going to reject it though. I don't feel like you're emotionally invested or you're interested in going back to the past. So I feel like you may be the one to shut this person down because you don't want to go back to that Five of Pentacles energy. Whatever you had here that made you feel like the Five of Pentacles, chances are they'll do it to you again. So be careful. The world is open-ended, but the world shows like you're coming to the end of a cycle here. So for a lot of you, a connection, it's nearing its end. I also feel like with the Judgment card, you judged correctly. You had some sort of inkling, feeling, hunch, intuitive energy about this person, and it's going to turn out to be right. Knight of Wands, you weren't impulsive about it, so you've thought this through. It tells me you're not acting impulsively, and I feel like you're acting on your intuition here with that High Priestess energy. The World card is telling me now is a time to end a cycle because it's almost like it's not happening right now so i feel by the end of this week a lot of you are leaving a connection or leaving behind some major love cycle now it's not all bad you could just be leaving behind some toxic energy and entering a new cycle with this person but the past seems to be way back in your review mirror you are not interested in going back to that so it could indicate a very good sign in a sense that you're leaving behind past dramas. So whatever that was happening in the relationship, that wasn't good. It wasn't positive. It was just draining. Chances are you're going to be moving away from that. So I feel like you're going to see some massive growth or some massive change in a person or even with yourself here as well. Now I did mention you have that Taurian energy ruled by Venus. So this is strong love energy. This is the marriage card that's come up around you. So some of you, you're making a judgment call about getting married or getting engaged. So for a lot of you, I feel like in your mind, there might be a scenario where you're looking at this person going, wow, okay, I could settle with them. Um, so it's either you meet the person you're supposed to marry, you get some sort of intuitive confirmation or link from the universe that you're supposed to be with this person. So this is very beautiful because I feel like it's it's a gift from the universe that's showing you you could end up with this person. So it's almost like you'll know the one you want, you want to marry. Okay, either you'll have some idea of who this person is, you'll visualize them, you'll manifest them, or you could even manifest them pro um, proposing to you. So this is super powerful love energy that you find yourself in. But I feel like the, the Hierophant is about a status. So I'm getting a status change. The world is like the world knowing. So I feel like your relationship status is going to change by the end of the week. A lot of you are changing your relationship status online. 
you're introducing this person to your friends or family this week. Um, you know, you're no longer in the single category, you're in the seeing someone or you're in the talking about getting engaged. I feel like there is a major relationship status overhaul that's coming to you. And I feel like you made the right judgment about it. So whether you're going from being single to coupled up or vice versa, it's a major relationship change or status um, that I'm seeing here. I also feel like something about judgment in the situation, judgment in a relationship is coming up either from you to a person or from that person to you. So strong judgment or judgmental energy. For some of you, the high priestess is telling me there's a pregnancy. So for a lot of you, congratulations, you're going to find out you're pregnant or your person wants to have marriage and babies with you. Lots of children. Okay, they could want to be a stepfather, the stepmother, they want to be involved in your life, they want to be involved in your children's life, they're going to voice it, they're going to show it. Okay, this is all about them stepping up here in their behavior. Okay, they're not only walking the walk, they're going to talk the talk, you'll be very happy to see that. Um, but I also feel like the high priestess is telling me there's unfinished business. If you're leaving a cycle or you're dumping a person, you're walking away from a relationship, it's very likely that this is going to return. It's not the end. The world is unfinished. The six of cups reversed. Definitely unfinished. Okay. And that high priestess tells me there's still something there, some sort of seed you've planted with this person. Um, so I do get for a lot of you, you've got, yeah, this notion of leaving a relationship or maybe like an ex coming back in. Um, to be honest, I'm getting a strong ex vibe. Um, it could be someone you were once married to or someone you thought you were going to marry. You've got kids. You've got a history here together. And they're coming back. They want something here from you, fire signs. It's hard to say what exactly. They want to be a happy family again. They want to give things another go. They're reminiscing about their past. They're missing you a lot. It's hard to say if it's just nostalgia, if it's real love that's coming, coming back and knocking on your door, fire signs. I'm going to leave that judgment up to you. You'll have to judge the situation. You know, I've I've led you up this far. You'll have to do the rest here for me and let me know how that goes. But overall, I think is, yeah, the past is knocking back on the door. So I feel like an ex is about to message you. Uh, an ex is typing a message here to you, wanting you to notice them on social media. You know, they might do it quite subtly. They might make this indirect approach they might just happen to be in the same gym same cafe same bar that you like to frequent so keep an eye on those things because it's not all coincidental there's hidden meaning and there's a hidden agenda as to why this person is coming back into your life so um, good luck with it all fire signs thank you again Aries Sag Leo for tuning in it does mean a lot and I do hope to be in touch again very very soon so thanks again everyone all the best and bye for now